Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini. I was just working on this piece here that uh, it's a mountain lion chasing a mule deer and he's leaping through the air. And uh, I think you can see there's a lot of in incredible detail here. And uh, I'll just kind of move it around a little bit so you can see some of the detail on the piece. If you, you can see that the mule deer is up on one leg. It's all reinforced with uh, aluminum wire, which is used in armature. That's almost like a skeleton of sorts to keep the piece uh, standing. And, and you, what I like about this piece, too, is you can get a good look at the cougar, and you can see his claws are extended on the paws here. It's really neat. And he's leaping through the air. But in this particular scene here, I call it escape because the mule deal does get away from the cougar. Usually nine times out of a ten when a cougar goes to hunt or one of the big cats like that, they miss the prey that they're going after, probably like 90% of the time. So they make multiple attempts before they actually catch something. But uh, tonight what I'd like to do is I'd like to concentrate on something a little different. We're going to move away from animals for this week. And we're going to concentrate on a favorite that everyone has. We have a nice little Halloween holiday coming up. And I want to show you how to do a little, simple little sculpture. I'm going to put, hold it up here. It's of a ghost with two pumpkins. And then we're going to have like the grass. And I'll show you how to create the base with the two little pumpkins with the stems and this little white ghost. And I thought that that would be a cool little project to you know, because in another month or so we'll have Halloween and, you know, I thought that uh, people would get a kick out of doing this particular sculpture. There are several types of clay that you can use for this project. There's an air hardening clay, which will harden like in a couple of hours or overnight. And you can use this. It can be bought in any art store. It's good to use. This one here you, you could definitely paint once it's dry. And the, another type of clay that you can use is this oil-based clay here, which never hardens. It's a great clay. I've mentioned before that I used to use this all the time when I was a kid because you can do all kinds of really cool things with it. And, uh, you know, once you, you get tired of whatever you made, you can make something new and just keep reusing it again and again. My preference for the clay is something called Super Sculpey which it's a great clay to use because you can fire it in the oven at 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes and then it becomes hard and then you can paint it, you can sand it, you can do a lot of different kinds of things with it but it's a great clay to work with. The types of clay are the clay balls that we'll be using tonight. I'll, there's several different sizes. There's this size ball of clay here and this is what we'll be using for the base in that uh, that's the size. I'll hold up my hand. That way you can get a rough idea of how big it is. The next ball of clay that we'll be using is for the body of the ghost. And this is the size that you want to use for the ghost body. And the other two, there's another two balls of clay here, about this size. These will be used for the arms. And then the next two balls of clay that we have, those will be used for the pumpkins. I do have some extra clay on hand, so I'll use that to make the stems. I'll show you how to, what size to make that. The first thing what we want to do for making this clay sculpture is we want to take and make the base. So we're going to take this round ball of clay, and what I like to do is I'm going to, we want to take our fingers and just flatten it out like this. I'll show you, just going to flatten it like this. And just kind of work it with your fingers. This is a great to work with, you know, just when you, you know, use the clay like this and flatten it out like that, you, you get the feel for the way the clay feels and what you can do with it. What we're going to do is I flatten this out. That's what it will look like. This is what it will look like from the side right now on the bottom. We're going to take and we're going to push this down on the table now like this. And just kind of push that down and just kind of knead it with your fingers. I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger and just kind of do that. Just kind of push it down with your fingers like that. So when it's, 
it's complete, it'll probably be approximately this size right here. You can see that we kneaded it with our fingers, and it's still in a very rough form. The next tool that we'll be using is, we've used this before, get a piece of tin foil from your closet or, you know, tin foil you bake with, and we can use this now, roll it up into a ball, scrunch it up like this. Now what we want to do is we're going to take this and we're going to tap the top of the clay, and this will create the texture of the ground. It, it, it makes beautiful texture by doing this. You just kind of work it like this and then once we, I finish with this I'll show you how to you just kind of maybe tweak it a little bit like this. And it, it, It's cool the, with the texture that this makes. We've used it before. We've used it in the waterfall and then we use it in the water when we did the shark head. This is what the texture will look like when it's when it's uh, completed. It's a beautiful little texture. I mean, it looks, when you paint it, it looks like the grass and the ground, and it's really nice. The next step in the process that we would want to take is we want to create, we'll do the, the pumpkins first. We're going to take one of these balls of clay here, and I'm going to take and just kind of roll it in between your hands like this. We want to make it as round as possible. You just kind of roll it back and forth, and You'll see now that we've created a nice round ball. The next step in the process we're going to do is we want to take, I will show you an example of what it should look like. The, I'll get this other, these are the pumpkins that I had made and the one we're going to be painting tonight. You want to make, these are the approximate shapes that you want to make for the pumpkin. And I will show you what to do. You can see they have the little stems up top and we're going to put lines in them when they're too thick. But I will show you how to make the pumpkin. We're going to take this pumpkin now, and we're going to take, and we're going to kind of squeeze it like this. You make a, and it's just squeeze between your thumb and your finger like that, and kind of press down on it like that. You're going to make like an indentation. So you're going to see there's a little indentation up top, and you're going to have a little indentation on the bottom. So you just kind of work it like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to do both pumpkins at the same time. We're going to take the other ball of clay, or the other, that we're going to use for the other pumpkin, we're going to roll it in our hands the way we did before, like this. Just go back and forth, back and forth. In so it's kind of, you're working it like that. Now we're going to take, and we're going to do the same thing to this pumpkin. We're going to take, and you're kind of going to squeeze it between your thumb and your finger, and you're going to create that indentation. I'll show you, just kind of squeeze it like that. You're going to see that indentation there. See how you have a nice little indentation? And then you're going to have that nice little indentation on the bottom. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take, and we're going to get another tool, which is the toothpick. And I'm going to show you, we're going to make lines. So you take and you make a line like this. You go all the way down like this. You make the line like that. So now what we will do is we're going to take and make another line right next to that one. We're going to take and make another line like this. And you go like that. So you're going to go all the way around the pumpkin making these lines. As you can see here, you make the lines like this. You just keep going, just draw it like that. Just make the lines. Kind of draw like that. It's a really cool effect. It creates those little ridges that you see in the pumpkin. Every I, my son, he loves to get pumpkins for Halloween, and then we carve them up, and then we bake the seeds. And pumpkins are really cool things. I mean, you go over to some. There's a lot of farms in the area now that you can go out and go on a hayride and get your own pumpkin and. There's a lot, it's a very nice time of the year. 
So, and finally, we'll make the, the final line like that. So, this is what it should look like. You get all those little ridges. That's what the top will look like. And we'll do the same thing for the other pumpkin. So you're going to make the, we'll make the lines here. Just make, just, just make them very close together. Like this. Just kind of make those little ridges for the pumpkin. Just keep going around like that. Just take your time and, you know, it, very cool effect. Go all the way around the pumpkin. Just do that. It's going to work. Just keep going around the pumpkin. You go all the way around. And just kind of work it like that. Got that. And finally, you'll make the last couple of lines. Like that. So now what we will do is we have our two pumpkins now. What we're going to do is we're going to take, you're going to take the pumpkin like this, and you're going to kind of just kind of work it in like this. Take and kind of squish it in there like that. And we're going to take the other pumpkin and do the same thing on the other side. You just take and squish it in like that. That way it, it, it connects with the clay. The next step in the process, we're going to take some extra clay that we have here and we're going to make the stems. So just, I'm going to show you, you're going to take a very little piece of, small piece of clay for each one. I'm going to take, I'll get, I'll show you the size in a minute. I'm going to take this here. Now these are the size balls of clay you want for the stems. Very tiny. And then what we're going to do is I'll show you, we're going to take each one of these and we're going to roll it into almost like a, a little tiny log. So you're taking your, your thumb and your finger and kind of just roll it like that. And I'll show you, this, this is what it will look like when it's done. That's what it will look like from the side. And we're going to put this right on top, right here. So we're going to take, put it right on top of the pumpkin, and just take and take your toothpick now and go all the way. So I want to make sure this is, I can show you. Just kind of go around like this and work, go all the way around the pumpkin stem like that. And you're going to just work that in. Just from all sides. The next step in the process that we want to take is we'll create the other stem. So we're going to take and roll this into a little log between our fingers like this. Again. And I'll show you. You have, that's what it will look like. We will take now, and we're going to place that on the top like this. And we're going to take and just work that in with the toothpick. I'll try to give an example. Just take and work that in like that. And another thing that we probably want to do, too, is we want to rough up these stems a little bit to give them the texture that, they're gonna, that they have, like, little ridges of lines. So you take the toothpick and kind of just work it over the stem like this, kind of draw, like, little lines in it. You kind of just go like that. Go all the way around, and you create that effect. Now we will do the same for the other stem. Just take and the toothpick and just kind of rough it up a little bit with the toothpick, make it look like little lines. And I'm going to we'll go all the way around like that. And we're going to create those little lines. So at this step in the process, this is what it, it should look like. You have your two pumpkins on here. And then I'll show you what it looks like from the top. And you got your two little stems. Now we'll proceed to make the ghost. We will take this ball of clay here, 
and we're going to take and almost kind of roll that almost into another like little log shape again. And we're just going to, I'll show you the shape that we're, we're shooting for. I'll get the other one that I had done previously. This is the, see this little ghost here? See the shape here without the arms? That's the shape that you're looking to create. That's what it will look like from the back. So you're going to create that. Just think of that without the arms on it right now. That's the shape that we're going to create for the ghost. And I'll show you how to do that. So we take the one that's the ghost, and we just kind of work that into that shape that I had shown you on the other sculpture. Just kind of work it like this. We want to round off the top a little bit. Then we, what we're going to do is once we get the shape that we want on the ghost, we're going to tap the table now. Take your little ghost and tap the table to flatten them out on the bottom. So you'll see this, see how I flattened them out? That's what you want to do for your ghost. So just tap the table, and we're going to get the, make sure that we get that shape that we want. And then what we'll do now is we want to create the arms. So I'll show you how to make the little arms. Each arm, we're going to get this little ball of clay here, and we're going to take and kind of roll this between our fingers like this, and we're going to create like a little, almost like a little log shape. I'll show you what the uh, what I'm going to do. So you, you have this like little log shape like this. So this is what it will look like. This is what it will look like on the end from the other side and the top. So we're going to take this little arm now and we're going to take and we're going to work it into the ghost. So we're going to take and just kind of place it on this, this, the ghost figure like that, take with your, your fingers and your thumbs and kind of work the clay in to make sure that the arm attaches. So we're going to do that all the way around with our fingers to make sure that it's attached. Just kind of work it in. You want to make sure that that's worked in pretty good, like that. Now we will proceed to put, make the other arm going to take and roll that into another little log. We'll take and roll it like that. And we're going to, I'll show you, you make another like little log shape. Like that. Just create that log like shape. And I want to see, we're going to take and put this on the other side now of the ghost. So I'll show you. We're going to put it over here. And we're going to work that take and work that into the body. Go, and we're going to, you want to do it all the way around. You want to do it in the back, the back of the arm, the bottom of the arm like that. And you can see you want to work from all sides. And then you just want to look to make sure they're approximately the same size, which they appear to be. If the proportion is a little off, that, that's, that's all right. It's just we, we want to have fun with the clay and making our little ghost. The next step in the process that you want to take, we want to get your toothpick now. We want to take and create the eyes and the mouth. So what we do is we'll take the toothpick and we'll take and we'll create our eyes. We're going to take, put the toothpick in like that, and kind of spin it a little bit. But then you also want to rotate it around like this to kind of create the eye. And I'll, I'll show you. Just kind of rotate it like that. And then we're going to do, we're going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to poke that like that. And you're going to just work it like this. Just want to kind of see what I'm doing. Work it like that. See how you got the two eyes now? And then we're going to go a little bit below that in the middle, and you're going to create the mouth. So you're going to kind of just rotate it like that. Take the toothpick and rotate it. I want to see. So we can make the eye a little bigger, just going to work it a little more. 
like that. And then we get the mouth. So now you can see that the ghost, what it looks like. So you got the, the two eyes and the mouth. And now we're going to take and put him in the sculpture like this. So you're going to take, and I, what I like to do is just kind of squeeze him down like that, work him in like that so the clay is attached. Because if you don't do this, uh, he'll probably just kind of work, work it in like that. And there is your ghost with the two pumpkins. I'll pick it up so you can get a better look at it. That's what it will look like from the top, the front. That's what it will look like from the side. And that's what it will look like from the back. So it's a, it's a really cool little sculpture that you're making. And you can put this, once you, if you have the super sculpey or the type of clay that hardens, you can... Uh, fire it in the oven, then paint it. Or if you don't have it, you have just the oil-based clay, you can put it right on your little shelf or get ready for Halloween. The next step in the process, once we've made, now that we've made the sculpture, I will show you how to paint it. We are going to use acrylic paints. There's 18 in this package. They can be bought in any art store. They're just, they're, uh, they're great to use. They're very easy to clean up. And I will show you the colors that we'll be using. For the pumpkins, we're going to use brown for the stems, orange for the pumpkins, white for the ghost, black for the eyes, and green for the, the ground. We're going to use this size brush here for painting the pumpkin. It's, it's, you know, it's a decent sized brush and it'll be, make it very easy for us to paint the uh, ghost sculpture. So I'm going to take this orange paint and I'm going to take, I'm going to just dip this in like this. So what we want to do is you want to take and paint the pumpkin. So you go up and down, up and down, like this. Up and down, up and down. You know, and then on the bottom, you, you try to get as close to the base as you can. So you go up and down, up and down. And we're going to do that for the entire pumpkin. You're going to do up and down, up and down like this, back and forth. Up and down like that. And we're going to do the same for the other pumpkin. You want to go back and forth like this up and down. Just kind of watch what you're doing. Then it's a, it's a very cool effect once you paint the pumpkins and you can see the different texture and the lines and it's really neat. So just go back and forth and paint the pumpkins. Go all the way around. The next step in the process for the pumpkin is I want to paint the stems. So I'm going to use the color brown. And I think we'll use uh, this size brush here. I'll show you this. We'll use a small brush like this because the stems are very small. And we'll use this. We will take and we will paint. You want to pick this up. So now we're going to take these little stems and just kind of go like that. You want to paint all the way around. A little bit like that. Don't worry if you get some of the, the pumpkin. You can always repaint the orange part if you get some on there. So that's what you do to paint the stems. The next thing that we will want to paint is the ground, which is green. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take this size brush here. It's a little wider than the others and because it's a lot more area to cover. And we will take, and we're going to paint the green. I'm going to take now, and just kind of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on this to do the green. 
You're going to paint the entire base this way. So see, back and forth, back and forth. I'll show you. Just back and forth, back and forth like that. You'll paint the entire base in this green color. So back and forth, back and forth like that. See that? Back and forth like that. The next step in the process, I'm not going to paint the entire thing for you. I just want to give you the idea of how to do it. The, I will show you now how we're going to paint the white ghost. We're going to take the white paint here now, and we're going to take that, and let's see, that's sticking a little bit. We're going to take, and we're going to create the white ghost. So we're going to take this paint now, we're going to take this size brush, it's a small one, and we're going to paint the white ghost. So uh, what I'll do is I will start with the arms, kind of go back and forth, back and forth. You probably have to do a couple of coats of the white because it, uh, that way it will come out better. The white will look better if you do it two, at least two coats. So you go back and forth, back and forth. I want to see if we can, I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Back and forth, back and forth, like that. And then we're going to do the same for the arm. Back and forth, back and forth. You're going to paint the entire ghost this in this manner. The next thing that we will want to do is I want to paint the black eyes for the ghost. I'm going to take the black paint. I'm just going to take that. And we're going to use the black paint. We're going to take a small brush like this. Where it's the eyes, you need to use a very small brush because it's a very small area. I'm going to take, dip this in, and I'm going to take our ghost. I'll show you now. You take and you kind of push this into where the eye is, and then ro roll it around. Put it in like that. Then pull it out. You go in here and do the same thing on this side. Just kind of roll it around. As you can see, you can kind of see the eyes. And we're going to do the same thing for the mouth. We're going to dip, get some more black paint. And then we're going to take and put the, and do the black mouth. Just kind of put the paintbrush in like that and paint it like that. So you can see how you can do the, the mouth and then the eyes. You know, it, it creates a very cool effect. I will now proceed to show you what the final sculpture will look like when it's fully painted. The fully painted sculpture will look like this when it's complete. You see the ghost. You see the two pumpkins. I'll hold it up so you can see the detail. You can see the brown stems that we painted. You can see the texture on the pumpkins, those lines. Very cool effect, very simple. Just draw those lines and you create your little pumpkin. But this is what the sculpture will look like when it's done. And I would, the ghost, I would give them at least two or three coats of paint because the white, if you just paint it once, is not going to come out that good. But this is what the sculpture will look like when it's fully completed. And, you know, I, I hope you enjoyed our Halloween theme for the show tonight. And uh, I th want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. And I will proceed to get back to my sculpture here and add the finishing touches. Thanks. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional model and play like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in play and we will enter them into a drawing. 
You can send by mail or email. And I can't wait to see what you've been up to.